Commission Group is part of we operate produce results in three platforms, which is economic development, small business entrepreneurship, grants and application development. Uh, so we developed this new economic development strategy for you guys uh, from a proverb, 1816, which says, a man's gifts will make room for him and put him in front of important people. That's what she's manifestation. My office is located in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, which is the southeast part of Hopkinsville. To give you some proximity, we're about one hour from Nashville, Tennessee. Fort Campbell, London, first Airborne, Uwak is in our county as well. What I want to introduce you today is Entreforce. A lot of times, economic developers, we have to choose what strategy is the best. This is a merge of entrepreneurism and workforce development. Uh, there are intersections where these two strategies intersect with one another. So I'll try to explain that to you today. As economic developers, we have a lot of concerns, a lot of fears about the future as we travel down the Yellow Road, trying to get into this land of Oz, land of Great Deal. We have concerns that impact us. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. I'd say it's too early. Uh, <laughs> but some of those challenges and concerns are very real. Those concerns are taxes. Uh, those concerns are regulations, or the ambiguity of regulations, and capitals. And capitals is not just money. We're talking human capital, intellectual capital. All of those impact the choices of the life of the economic development. What's your favorite? What's your preference? Hopefully you have a strategy, or a portfolio, if you will, uh, as an economic development. So just by participatory, let me ask you all, whose favorite, we could tell by Jay's presentation earlier, is entrepreneurial development. Who has at least 10-20% of their resources developed toward entrepreneurial development? All right. Who has about 10-20% toward small business development? 10-20% for workforce development? And 10-20% for BRE? And 10-20% for recruitment? And I say, we say strategy, but I like to think of it as a portfolio, just like an investment portfolio. You shouldn't have everything into one type of stock or bond. So that introduces Entreforce. Entreforce is a strategy that I developed. This is preliminary. Uh, that discovers first, and second, takes advantage of the time and place intersections between those different strategies. And we're going to some examples as well. And we're talking about alignment, shameless plug. If you like the eclipse that's coming in August the 21st, 2017, Christian County has the longest view and the best view in the world huh. for that. So we'd love to have you tourism, we'd love to see you there. So let me try to justify this strategy to you. Uh, one of the contributing authors or writers for Entrepreneur Magazine says, if you can find mindset, attitude, uh, and competency, you hire that person. So the change is you don't, create the, you don't create the job for the person, you have the person for the job. Again, just by show of hands, who has worked or is an independent contractor? I myself as well. Who has an economic development group that has or is doing some outsourcing of any of its work? We have corporate entrepreneurs also where a corporate firm may do some marketing on one of its employees' blogs. A lot of people are sad entrepreneurs. How many of you have a sole business on the side in addition to your full-time job? So it brings us to, again, another point. Can you design your own job? Uh, we may not know Brady Forrest. He is one of the gentlemen that founded the Ignite Sessions. And he is a technology evangelist. Can you explain that position or that title? But it takes his passion, his gifts, and makes room for him. How many of you have ever thought, by show of hands, that you could do a better job if you could innovate your own position? Or who of you have left your job to start your own firm because you thought you could do a better job than you were? Now let's talk about capitals. The structure and the infrastructure is being built around the 21st century economy. Uh, you have e-lands where you can hire people to do your work, bookkeeping, accounting. You have local my way where they do some of your design work for you. You can have an office in Chicago, one in Miami, one in Indianapolis, who read this, that works for you. It's great for impressing new customers to take them to your office that's through that organization. Uh, so we see that there is a shift in the economy to try to have us to focus on it. And that shift is a marriage of the 2010 Small Business Act and its policy to work with exporting entrepreneurs and the Workforce Investment Act to try to improve the people that work for organization. In a book called Plan to Win, there's a conversation between the CFO and the CEO. And the CFO says to the CEO, what happens, boss, if we invest all this time, money, and resources into our employees and they leave us? And the boss says, that's a great example. Let me ask you, what happens if we don't invest any time, money, 
and they stay. <laughs> that is the marriage between uh, building entrepreneurship and workforce development together, which leads us again to what we like to call entre force. The intersections to where you put people first, job second. It is a paradigm shift. It is a challenge to do, uh, but it is a new economic strategy that you can build and put on top of your current portfolio. Thanks for your time.